Hi, you guys. So I just approved like another hundred or so um, people. And if you're new here, I just had a baby. Uh, Xavier and I welcomed a beautiful baby boy into the world on February 19th, Weston. Um, and I am trying to get some exercise. It hasn't even been three full weeks yet. I also have three big kids, a 17, 15, and 10-year-old. We're at Navy Pier today. Rather than trying to go inside at a gym and get exercise, we're just taking advantage of this beautiful 45-day, 45-degree um, day at Navy Pier. If you can see, we walked the entire length of the pier, and we're going to walk back and then probably try to catch either a church service or something on our way back. Um, Xavier and I spent the entire duration of my pregnancy in a tent, um, pretty much begging for help and shelter. Um, but because of the overwhelming number of people who needed the assistance, we didn't get it until baby was born. So we are in now, and we're out here getting some exercise. So yeah, um, we're just trying to take advantage of the time that we have outside in this beautiful weather uh, before we go back inside. Um, we're very grateful to have finally obtained the shelter assistance that we were seeking. My background is in healthcare, um, so if anyone is hiring for that, I'm looking for a remote coding billing um, position so that I could be home with our newborn um, and you know continue raising my big kids. My oldest graduates high school this year, which is wild, and. That's about it. Um, we're hoping that this season of change is our season. Um, just leaning into God, you know, full force and asking that God walk with us through this fire. Um, I've never been homeless before. I'm 37 years old. So all of this is new and humiliating. So thank you for joining us and please keep your nasty comments to a minimum. Go figure, Navy Pier, a place for families and children. Uh, I've run into like five little babies and begun crying while walking. Uh, so I think we're just going to go try to find a Sunday evening, I'm sorry, Saturday evening sermon um, or some place to pray. I have to stay leaning into God on this, you guys. This is tearing me up. Like, ah, it's so hard. The amazing news from last night is that I was able to catch up with my 10 year olds. Um, oh my God, that kid put such a smile on my face, you have no idea. She is such a trip and um, she's dealing with something right now. Um, a little girl was shot and killed from her school. Um, so she is seeing a therapist for that and um, it's just tremendous what the kids go through nowadays, you guys. Um, more reason to keep the family units together, you know, um, and let's talk about this. When we talk about foster care or adoption and the reason why I disagree with it so highly, do you guys know that these foster parents get paid? So why wouldn't we invest that money into the rehabilitation of the family unit as opposed to giving it to a stranger? It just makes 